net fdi a key piece of the currency financing puzzle why is net fdi so important for the rupee consider this like we detailed in this shorts a few weeks ago one must remember that india's net total global consumption needs to be financed in other words india's current account deficit needs to be financed and this financing comes in the form of a capital account surplus we did a quick shorts on this likening the rupee to eating at a restaurant here now back to fdi in fy20 fdi inflows accounted for 52% of the capital account flows that financed india's current account deficit and in fy25 with a sharp fall in net inflows fdi only accounted for 6% of the total capital account surplus in short increasing india spends were met with much less support from fdi leaving the heavy lifting to be done by volatile fii flows and other segments like nri deposits banking capital etc why are the fdi numbers so low let's break this down now like you see in this chart net fdi flows into india stood just under 1 billion dollars in fy25 down from a peak of 44 billion dollars in fy21 however Remember that gross FDI inflows stood at 81 billion dollars in FY25, just 5% of its all-time high seen in FY22. The sharp drop in net FDI that started from FY20 was largely due to a surge in repatriations and outward FDI or FDI by India. What are repatriations? These are largely foreign investors ploughing back their profits from India to invest in other markets. And outward FDI refers to the acquisitions and investments of Indian companies done abroad. FY20 to FY25, like we said, saw $41 billion drop in net FDI, with nearly 70% of this drawdown attributed to an increase in repatriations and 30% due to an increase in outward fdi mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully